Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. So far we've been working on the main.html document and we've constructed the basic layout for our web pages. Some of the elements on our page are going to be common for all pages. So for example the logo area at the top, the social media icons and the navigation system are going to be common to all pages as is the footer at the bottom of the page. Each page will differ in the banner area and the content area so we'll need to make sure that we can edit these items on each of the different pages. So what we're going to do in this lesson is to create a template and we'll use this main.html page as a basis for our template. So let's switch back to Dreamweaver. All I'm going to do is come up to the file menu and click save as template and when I do that the save as template dialog box will open and I'll need to give my template a name. So we're going to leave it as the default name main but this will be a template rather than actual HTML file. So I'll simply click save and I'll be asked if I want to update links. Well yes I do so I'll click on yes to that one. Now when we save it as a template you'll notice that Dreamweavers pop some extra code in here. So we've got some green comments here now when we saved it as a template. There's one more thing I need to do and that's to make sure that the areas that I want to be editable are identified within the document. So I'm going to come over to the code window and scroll down and we've got our logo area, the top photo, social media and top nav and they're all going to be static items on the web page. Just underneath that we've got the banner area. Now this is an area that I want to make changes to depending on what page that we're using. I also want the content area to be editable as well. So let's start with the banner area. I've selected the opening and closing div for the banner and I'm going to come up to insert template objects and editable region and if I click on that Dreamweaver will ask me to give this editable region a name. So we'll simply call this one banner. Then we'll say OK. And Dreamweaver then puts a little bit of extra code in our HTML document. And I'm going to switch to full code view here. And what you'll see is that Dreamweaver has now identified the editable regions. And in this case, this editable region is called banner. But Dreamweaver is not too particular about how it positions the code and I like to tidy that up a little bit. So we've got this editable region just after the closing div for the top nav section and I want to separate that from there. So I'm just going to bring that down by a couple of lines and we'll split the banner area away from the content area. So that gives us a nice little section of code there. But also it's changed my closing div and split that away from the actual comment that identifies that closing div. So I'm going to tidy that one up as well. So we'll bring that down a line and we'll also take this comment back up to where it belongs and it also place the image tag right up next to the opening banner. So let's correct that as well. So using Dreamweaver to insert your editable regions is pretty straightforward but the code does get messed up and you might have to come back and just tidy it up a little bit. You might also want to indent that section of code just to make it that little easier to read. So we've got a banner ID, then we have our image and then we have the closing banner ID and they're all encased in the template editable region called banner. We're going to do exactly the same thing for the content area. So I'm going to select the entire content div from the opening content to the closing content div. Be careful that you don't select any of the footer area. So this is just the content area with everything contained in it. 
and again I'm going to come up to insert template objects and editable region I'm asked to give this editable region a name so we'll call this content we'll say OK and once again you'll see that Dreamweaver's added that additional code and again it's messed around with my formatting so I'm going to split the two regions apart and I'll tidy up that code so down here we need to just bring that comment back to the closing div and again we'll separate the footer from that area so that was quite straightforward but we've also got a little bit of tidying up to do with regards to our box divs so we'll get rid of those split the closing div from the opening div and there we go just put a little bit of space between our boxes so we've got our boxes now so there's the first one the second one and the third one and everything's enclosed within this content area and above and below that now we can see our code signifying that this is an editable region so we've created our template and up in the tab up here you'll see that this is now called main.dwt and it's got the asterisk signifying that we haven't saved this yet so I'm going to come up now and say file save and that saves that template now what then happens is that Dreamweaver creates a folder for us to contain our templates so we now have a templates folder and inside that you can see we've got the main DWT which is the file that we're looking at here so it's all saved I'm going to close that one down and in the next lesson we'll apply this template to the other pages in our website if you found this series of videos helpful and you want to receive updates on video tutorials as they're released why not subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share it with your friends